Okay, this will be part three of our session it, that we're talking uh, about the rapture and being accounted worthy to escape all the things that are going to be coming upon the earth. Uh, our, our foundation scripture is in Luke chapter 21, verse 36, which I'll read again. And this is the Messiah, Yahusha, our Savior. And he said, Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and stand before the Son of Man. And as I pointed out in our last couple of sessions, is that uh, the, the Messiah gave us a promise that we could escape the things that are coming upon the earth. And of course, the things that are coming upon the earth, if you read this in context, he's talking about the tribulation time frame or the seven years of Daniel's 70th week, or also referred to as Jacob's trouble or Israel's trouble, that's going to be uh, going to be come. Uh, it's actually, I believe, it's very near. I believe that uh, the tribulation, of course, the the tri the rapture has to take place in order for uh, the tribulation to to begin. And in fact, this proves it right here. If you think about it, what he's talking about, he's talking about escaping. He's not talking about you know uh, enduring the tribulation. He's talking about escaping it. See, the people who believe in a post-rapture, uh, uh, there's no escape right there. There's no, if you don't believe in the pre-tribulation rapture, you're, you're actually, um, you know, uh, questioning what the Messiah says right here. Because he says that you, could, that you could pray and that you could be accounted worthy to escape all the things that are coming upon the earth. Now... Escape means exactly what it means in the Greek. I looked this word up, <clears throat> and it actually means to flee out of, or it, another meaning is to escape. That we, in other words, to be out of, <coughs> not here, not to be protected during the tribulation, but to be to escape it, not to be a part of it. And there, there's only one way that can happen, is that is for the rapture to take place before this time frame before the tribulation. Now what constitutes you and I to be able to be delivered out of this time frame is the fact is that we would be accounted worthy. Again, as I pointed out in our last two sessions, that the only thing that makes any person worthy uh, is the fact is that you put your faith and trust in the Messiah, the Mashiach, and he's made us worthy. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse uh, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. <laughs> now that's making reference to in the realm of the Spirit, in the realm of the Ruach. I'm a new creature. When I was born again, and I was born again over 40 years ago, and uh, I'm and I had very little knowledge of the scriptures when I was born again. But there's one thing that I knew. I was a different person. I knew that I was changed. I had a to my desires totally changed. I wasn't perfect in everything I did, but I knew that I was a different person. I knew that I had a love for our creator. I wanted to learn the scriptures. I wanted to learn and more, know more about him. And there was a drastic change. I, I passed from death unto life. I, remember, I re, even re, remember saying that I feel alive for the first time in my life. I was actually 24 years old when I was born again. And, uh, and that's really the truth. I, I became a new creature in Messiah. And that's what the scripture says. Therefore, if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all, behold, all things have become new. Now, I still have my flesh, and I still have my flesh to deal with now, where there's weaknesses in our flesh. Still, we're still prone to sin and to miss it. But on the inside, I am a new creature. That's the way my Father sees me. He sees me in the realm of the Spirit, in the realm of the Ruach. He sees me holy and perfected in Him. The Scripture says of the book of Hebrews, For by one offering He has perfected forever them that are sanctified or set apart. I'm already perfected forever. I'm waiting for the adoption to be complete, the redemption of my body. And that's what we're waiting for. At the rapture, the redemption will be complete. 
My body will, I, this corruptible shall put on incorruption, incorruption. This mortal shall have put on immortality. And so at that, the time of the rapture, we, our, our redemption will be complete. It's not complete yet. But it started the moment that you put faith and trust in the Messiah. And because you did, according to the Acts chapter 2, verse 38 and 39, the Father gave you and I the Spirit according to His promise. I hope this helps you. We'll continue this in our next session. And thank you again. Shalom.